Well, back to school time officially here this week, and that means we're giving you all the tools you need to know to make sure your child has a successful start to the new school year. Yeah, 12 News reporter Kara Willis joining us now in studio and spoke with two admins from two different districts on the dress code policy. Reminders for parents and, and how you can get assistance with school clothes. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, guys. Local school districts are not only making sure students are in good shape for this school year, but that all of you parents out there feel good too. I talk with PAISD and LCMCISD about how you can get up to speed on your child's dress code, even if you've already finished your school shopping. A new school year means more incoming students and parents. We always want to communicate with families and you know, build positive relationships. Amber Hawk is the principal at Little Cypress Elementary and wants parents to feel comfortable talking about the school dress code policies. She says the policy varies per campus and grade level, but it can be a lot on parents to shop for all the right things and to know policies inside and out. We don't see this as a problem for our age. Uh, we just want the kids to be here at school. So, um, but in the upper grade, sometimes it, they have to be a little bit more strict because the kids are getting themselves dressed or they're purchasing their own clothing. Hawk says at her campus, the policy hasn't changed much outside of allowing some jeans with holes. Port Arthur ISD's media and communication specialist, Adrian Lott, says that elementary and middle school students are required to wear uniforms. The shirts are the polo style shirts with the three buttons in the collar, or it can be a, a dress shirt that has the buttons all the way down with the collar. And those colors are gray, red, black, white, navy blue, and sky blue or baby blue. High school students aren't required to wear uniforms, but with that, she wants parents to remember these reminders. Every shoe has to have a back on it. So Crocs are not a part of the dress code at all. Sometimes I have seen problems with secondary campuses and the children want to wear linen pants and linen pants, you can see straight through them. So that's not something that's appropriate. And both Lot and Hawks say that they both understand just how expensive school clothes can be. So if you would like to donate clothes or funds to either receive or help families in need, please visit your child's campus to speak with a school counselor. Kara Willis, 12 News. All right, thank you, Kara. And taking a look now at other dress codes in the area. BISD's dress code policy states no hoodies are allowed at any grade level and students of all grade levels must use a clear or mesh backpack. Elementary schools can wear red, white or navy polo style shirts with khaki or navy bottoms. Middle school students in sixth grade wear white polos. Those in seventh grade wear gray and eighth grade school color polo style shirts and they can also wear black khaki or navy uniform pants. All right, let's look at Nederland and PNG. First, Nederland states all clothing must be appropriately sized. No oversized or baggy shirts or pants. Frays are allowed, but holes, tears or cuts are not allowed in clothing. PNG says dress length garments must be mid thigh or longer in length and longer than the fingertips. Dresses low cut in the front are not allowed. Earrings, pierced ears are allowed. Other body piercing jewelry is not allowed. Hats, caps, and hoodies, they're not allowed either. So don't, don't, don't even try wearing them to school.